So did you go to astronaut school? I did not. I did not. But we had we had so many specialists around that could give us information and tips to train us on various aspects of it. But I mean, you really can you can learn all the technical aspects, but no one can really train you for being in zero gravity. I mean, just unless you're actually in zero gravity. So how do you pee? How do you pee? I don't know. I had a diaper on. Seems like the depends is the way to go, and I just wrap that puppy on, just let it go. James Cameron says best space film ever. That's all because of that brilliant man right there, Mr. Quaron. That's, that's all his vision. He had that in his head the entire time. That's that's what's amazing. What was it like shooting basically in a 10 by 14? Lonely, dark. Just, there's nothing. Like, there's, no one's with you. Absolutely silent for hours and hours and hours and on end. And you just sort of you realize what's in your head after about the first 15 minutes. You go, okay, it's just going to be me with me. And you realize there's a lot of things in your head that don't need to be there. So it's uh, isolating, but it, it ended up working for the, in the film. So that's, that's a good thing. How does Baby Boy feel about Mommy is an astronaut? He, he remembers me as an astronaut. It was two years ago, so he remembers it. He has a doll from it. He can't remember why he remembers me as an astronaut, which I appreciate. He has no idea what I do for a living. We like to keep it that way for like as long as possible. And then he'll be just horribly embarrassed. Um, but he, he just, I mean... You know, I was his super favorite superhero until this past week and then I went to Spider-Man and I was like, oh, it's happening, isn't it? James Cameron said this is the best space movie ever made. Um, hearing that kind of endorsement from him, what are your thoughts on that? Well, I'm very grateful. I mean, I think that, that, that James is very, very kind and very generous. Uh, and, uh, and I have to say his inspiration was fundamental to, to make this film. Uh, films like this film or Life of Pi wouldn't exist without uh, James Cameron opening the doors for this media. The, the energy between Sandra and, and George, I don't think that there's CGI that I can replicate that. Yeah, it would be dangerous.